Hey, no falling out, no falling out, please. Should we just start with the, the team news to get that one done? Mm. Who have you got and who haven't you got? Get that who one done. Got, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously we, we, we picked up some injuries last week, as everybody saw, players players walking off. So, um, um, no, I don't want to put definite times on, on how long they're going to be out for, but... Um, but obviously, you know, it wasn't great last week. Um, so, uh, so no, no players returning. Scott McKenna um, was back on the bench last week, so that's a positive. So he's had another uh, another week's training, and um, I guess a little bit closer to to, to starting games. But um, but yeah, it's not an ideal situation, um, but not one that we're we're going to dwell on because obviously the most important thing at the moment is. Is trying to improve um, results, and um, and we have to always focus on the guys that can can play in the next game. So that's where we're at. It's obviously been a difficult few weeks. Mm. How much is this weekend about just parking that, getting back home mm. where you have been strong, and saying, listen, you know, eight games yeah. left. Let's go yeah, it's exactly it's exactly exactly that. You 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 put it as it is, um, and um, the objective hasn't changed in terms of what we want to achieve this year. We've made it slightly more difficult, of course, because of the, the recent results. There's no hiding away from that. Um, but it was always going to be a challenge, you know, to reach them objectives. So, um, you know, we're, we're still in on that journey of trying to do it, whatever it needs. We've, we've got to give even more, whether it's how we play, how we believe, work great. Confidence, togetherness, everything that that you know we need to 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 win a football match. Um, we've got to give more, and um, and that's that's where we're at. You know, we are um, but a long wait since since Villa to to this game on 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 the weekend. Still a couple of days, but uh, but it's one one that I know that the guys are determined to to do well in, and um, that's all that's all we can do is, is is prepare as best we can, and like I said, really really back ourselves to. To give everything we can to get the result that we all want, everybody wants. How much is the next few weeks then about that resilience and mental toughness? And from what you've seen, have you got the characters that heads mm. won't drop? Because now's the time you need them not to. Well, listen, we've um, we've been in a difficult situation before this season, um, and we've never been too far away from it. Even when league tables might have suggested otherwise, we've we've always been a, a couple of sets of results from um, from from. A good or bad, if you like, and um, um, but we've been in a in what looked like a difficult situation before. We managed to to pull away, so we've got to do do that again. Um, I, I'm not seeing um, a lack of confidence. I'm definitely not seeing a, a lack of effort. Nobody's hiding away from from the challenge. Uh, it's one that we're we're facing head on. We need to do better, of course, and and that's the the pride and the. Um, um, you know the belonging that we've got at the at the club, um, but in the end, match days are, are the key, and we've got to make sure that they they're the most important days, and they're the days where we deliver the most. And uh, starts um, with me, of course, and then um, um, you know the players. We all want to take responsibility. You know, there's a real keenness for for players wanting to be in the team, and if not coming off the bench and wanting to make a difference. You know, it's um, I'm not seeing any any negativity. Um, frustration, disappointment after results, where we felt we should or could have done better, um, but um, but I'm seeing a real determination, and um, you know we got to we got to use that to um, to be at our best on match days. Just finally for me, a bit of noise about your preferred sporting uh, director mm. since you, since you came up. Is that something you probably could have done without this week? Is now the time just to focus a little bit on Sunday and, and what are. Yeah. Football games ahead. Well, it hasn't interfered with with my day to day work. Um, nothing, nothing does to be honest, um, because that's um, that's what it is. My work, and, and I have to give that hundred hundred percent. Obviously, the club have made a change with with Filippo going and, and bringing um, Ross in. Um, I am um, a believer that the uh, the sporting director or the uh, chief football officer, technical director, is something that the club needs. Um, and I, I think it, it, it will help the club's progress uh, both on and off the pitch so I'm an advocate of, of, of that I had a good relationship with, with Filippo uh, and I, we work very hard to have a, have a good relationship with, 
with Ross and um, and uh, and working together on, on that. So um, exact rationale around the the, the change, I'm I'm not in, entirely sure because, like I said, I've been focusing on on the players. But um, like I said, the role I think is an important one for the club from a multidisciplinary point of view in in helping the club grow and progress to to the club that we want it to be. Fantastic. How are you? All right, you? Yeah, good, thanks. It's going to be 12 months next month since the promotion and the crazy mm. scenes that we saw. You, you've already had your second backing from the board. Um, it, it's been a crazy up and down time. What, what have you learned about yourself in this time? Um, lots. Yeah, loads. I think it was, however the season was, was going to go, it was always going to be... Um, one of learning for it for for everybody involved, myself, the club, players, supp um, supporters, if you like. You know, the first ones supporting the team in in, in the Premier League staff. So um, it was always going to be um, a year of um, new experiences, and um, and we've tried to embrace that, the, the good and the bad, as much as we can, and and helps you um, understand, you know, what it takes to to belong in 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 this league, and of course we're. We're fighting that at, at, at the moment, so um, so it's definitely been um, that. Um, it can't all be about learning. It's about delivery. It's about getting results, getting performances, but results um, in in the short term. And um, we're just really determined to 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 do that. As I said before, the objective hasn't changed. Has it got a bit more difficult? Yes, because of um, recent results. But the objective still hasn't changed, so we've got to stay committed to, to trying to reach them objectives. And um, it's one we're all motivated and determined to do. And what we have to do is do more than um, than what we've done done previously, even when we've, we've been going better than what we've been going recently. Now's the time with um, sort of, I don't know if the end is in sight, but certainly you can get into um, you know, the, the latter stage of the season where there is more scrutiny, there is more pressure wherever you are in the league. There's more context to games, um, and um, we've got to try and thrive in these in these situations and really stay positive, but knowing that we've got to deliver. Is it becoming clearer the fewer games that you've got, and you know you know how many points you could amass? Mm. Does it actually become easier when you can see that now? Honestly, I I am only looking at our next game and and result. You know, because I think that um, you can assume lots of things and they never um, uh, come to reality. Um, of course, the less games there is, the more um, sort of what's the word, sort of watered down things may may be, but or narrowed down, I should say. But um, but if we're thinking too much about that, we're not 100% thinking about Man United on on Sunday. And at this moment in time, that's the only thing that matters is the preparation, the team. Um, the culture um, for for trying to be at our best in, in what's going to be a you know a, an incredibly tough game, but a game at the city ground that we're really looking forward to. I know you've been on lots of coaching courses, home and abroad. Have you come across Eric Ten Hag before? Yeah, we played him three times this year, so yeah. um, we tend to say hello. But do you have you know. a working relationship with him? Um, no, I can't say I do. No, I mean we always obviously shake hands before and after and. Um, um, and I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for every manager at every every level because it's a, a unique role. I can I can assure you. Um, but no, n nothing further than um, going up against him on a match day. Okay, you've got your injury problems. Looking at last night, they're going to have their injury problems. Looking at this weekend, what are you asking from from the fans, from your players, come Sunday? Um, I'm more. The fans have been incredible. Um, and uh, the support has been uh, integral to anything positive that has happened um, um, this season, including after, say, a poor result and a poor performance. The support that they've given us, which is, pro is not easy for them at times, has helped us to move forward. Um, so they just need to continue. It's us, the players, myself, um, that, that need to um, give them more. Um, and um, we really want to try and match... You know their performances, if you like, because when we do that, then especially at home, you know we're a difficult opponent. Um, so it's on us um, to to, um, as I said, deliver to perform well to win. Um, because we know that um, supporters are really, really with us, and um, 
and we're grateful to that. But at the same time, you know, I repeat, it's on us to um, make sure that they we give them something to to be proud of. Good you too. Thank you. Hi Steve. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just a few um, follow-ups for me, of course, mentioned about um, Ross Wilson coming. Have you, have you had the chance to speak to him yet? Have you met him? Yeah, no, he started yesterday. Yeah, he's um, he's he's, str he's straight in and uh, obviously he's doing his introductions at the moment and, and getting getting his bearings and uh, surroundings and uh, trying to put uh, names and to, to you know to staff staff members etc. Um, so it's a big operation now, a football club in every department. So. Uh, so yeah, the normal sort of um, uh, first days, if you like. Um, but um, but yeah, um, obviously he's got you know a lot to to look at, and um, um, that will sort of take fruition over the course of time. Um, but um, I mean, we, we I do know him previously. We've we've met um, and spoke um, quite a few times, so it wasn't a completely brand new introduction for for us both. But um, but yeah, obviously. Myself and the team is, is of big interest to him, but there's lots of other things as well. What is that working relationship you've had with him so far? When, when was it that you guys have met in the past? Only, only on uh, normal football circles, sometimes on, on some courses at the at the, the FA um, and um, in and around the game, really, you know, matches and or training grounds and, and, and things like that, yeah. Great stuff. And looking ahead to Man United on Sunday, what, mm. what are you expecting from the clash? What will your team need to do well to get a result? From? Well, of course, you're playing Man United and it's, um, it's full of... Um, Full of incredible players, um, and um, that's um, that whatever team you play against. We've we've seen it in two cup games and, and a league game already. You know you're going to come up against a you know really difficult um, opponent. Um, stating the obvious a little bit by saying that, um, and with that in mind, we we've got to um, first of all back ourselves to do well in the game. Um, believe in the plan that we we put in place. And um, and give everything we can, you know, to to play well. We've got to go in there with a real positivity, a real, uh, like I said, concentration on on what we feel it takes to win. And um, and let's see, you know, we we uh, we're at home. It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon. You know, it's a um, a game that on a Sunday that the whole world watches because of um, the timing <laughs> of it. And now, uh, not only do we want to give everything to put on a, a good performance. We want to give even more to get the right result. And um, we're just really determined to do that. And just finally, you mentioned that you've, you know, the, the fans have been incredible and that mm. the players need to give a bit more to match that. What is it that... that everything, that, that, everything. You know, it's even, even I look at the times where we have won games this year and we have played really well, even that's not enough. We've got to give more. You know, we, we, we are... I don't just mean in a situation because results haven't been great. I just mean in a situation at this time of the season where... Um, you know the, the the stakes feel like they they're higher, and um, like I said before to to your colleagues, more, the context is is bigger because there's there's less games to play, and um, um, we, you know whatever we've given so far, like I said, even on the good days, is not enough. We've got to give we've got to give more. But what I can say is that it's such a determination and a motivation to to do that, and um, um, like I said, personally, um, even though. I feel it as much as anybody else when we don't get the result that we want. I can't think where I've ever been so motivated to, to succeed and um, I'm sort of feeling that from, from the players as well and um, I think that's, that, you know, that will be helpful to any success that we have. And yeah, I was going to say, I think with what's at stake and this end of the season, you really find out which players have got the character to stand up and be counted, don't you? It's not just about finding out, it's about, it's about living and breathing it. You know, this is, this is a time of the season for, for real... Leadership, real strong characters, real belief, uh, real quality, you know, decision making, uh, decisive moments, both ends of the pitch. Um, you know, we've got to really stand up and, and I don't say stand up be counted in terms of rolling your sleeves. Of course, we have to do that, but we have to stand up and be counted with, with how we play and, and, the, and the risks that we take and, the, and the, the creativity that we play with the concentration with the out of possession game. And, um, you know, that. Um, that's what it's going to take, you know. But uh, like I, I repeat, we are so motivated to do well, and for me, that's really important. Okay, you too, mate. <clears throat> Thanks, Jake. Any more broadcasts? Cameras off, please. Very good. We'll move to the written section in bar.